every year for three days, wet her dry, I wouldn't miss it for the world, lad. All night I plough and match, every year I match, wood rain, cut stick and wellies, and I don't forget me hat. The National Ploughing Championships will attract as many as 200,000 people to Stradbally in County Leach next week. Uh, they'll see plenty of very, very good livestock, uh, plenty of machinery, plenty of forestry, uh, all the, the, the fashion shows and of course what we didn't have for 23 years is the national finals of the bread baking competitions. There are lots of attractions but ploughing is the central part of this event. The whole event started in 1931 with ploughing, with just horse ploughing, and then it graduated into, in the late 40s, tractor ploughing. Ploughing is very important. When you have good ploughing, you have good tillage, and it, that will result in good crops afterwards, you know, and it's very important that the, that the, and, you know, with all the technology that has come our way, nothing has ever come to replace the plough. In a windy Wexford field, Michael O'Brien ploughs with his shire horses, George and Harvey. He has competed in eight All-Irelands and for him, horse ploughing is the high point. Ploughing is an art uh, uh, on its own. Like Ploughing is, a, it, it's, it's, I suppose, if you want to judge it, you want to be, uh, you, you, it takes a lot of practice, it takes a lot of time. If you notice in the All-Ireland that the horses bring the biggest crowd to the All-Ireland and if you're standing up where the horses are ploughing, there would be 18 pairs of horses ploughing in the All-Ireland. There's a skill, an awful skill in the horse ploughing. 351 competitors will battle it out in 23 different classes for All-Ireland ploughing titles next week. But what's the dummy's guide to ploughing? The judges have a score sheet and on the score sheet there's 16 different aspects and uh, you have to be technically very good on, on each aspect. You have to be, uh, straightness is measured four times, your weed control has to be very good, and uh, all the different aspects on the score sheet have to be done very, very well. I suppose four of those aspects of straightness, uh, each furrow, each sod has to be uniform across the plot, and uh, we have a start, uh, in our job we have a butts and a finish, so all of them aspects have to be done correctly to gain the highest points. So if you're up for casting an eye on one of agriculture's oldest labours, then the National Ploughing Championships and all the crack that goes with it is probably for you. Everyone is happy and they don't give